Beth, it's been a few weeks since the last game of the season and we pulled off the great escape. Has it sunk in yet? No, I don't think it ever will sink in. It's uh, been one of them things. It's got a long, young team, a lot of uh, experienced players as well and it will uh, be a memory for a very long time. Um, I think it didn't at first, you know, we didn't really expect to stay up but we've had a few weeks to reflect on it and I think we're all just happy with what we achieved. Uh, no, I don't think it has, I don't think it will until uh, you know, the start of next season, uh, you know, definitely tonight. Um, I think it uh, slowly will have some sort of impact on us but it was nice looking back and reflecting with everybody today so yeah. And as we do look back, it was a great season overall. We did start off a little bit rocky though, lost the first four games. We did turn it around though after Christmas, won the last four and in the end stayed up in style. Yeah, I mean, I think everybody, you know, has uh, worked on uh, individual weaknesses and uh, we've all learned how to, um, you know, play off of each other's strengths and that's obviously, uh, you can see that in the results and I think uh, at the end uh, four games we came together as a group and realised, you know, you know what, we could, what we could do and showed everybody, you know, what we can do, so yeah. Yeah, uh, it was looking a bit rocky for the uh, best part of the season. It was, uh, it was a difficult run um, and if you speak to any of the girls, nobody would be afraid to admit that it's been a difficult season. We've had to battle really hard to be where we are, but ultimately we're where we deserve to be and uh, we're really happy for it. You know, the change from the first game of the season to the last is so immense. Uh, you know, the, the progress that we've made as a team and as a, a footballing team especially has been incredible and I think it's just a credit to everyone who supported us through the season. And what would you put the teams at upturning form down to? Um, I think it's multiple things, you know. Um, the fact that we've all managed to stick together, pull in the right direction, and obviously the coaching staff, um, all the people involved, James, Nicola, yourself, um, everyone who's been involved, just been incredible. Like I said, you know, everybody has had this great mindset, you know, training, we've been working extremely hard, and that's individually and as a group, um, working on those different factors. Um, you know, and I think, you know, when everybody puts in that effort, that certain amount of effort, then it shows in our results and in our games and, you know, and our performance as an overall. So, yeah, definitely, you know, just hard work and a lot of grit. So, uh, it's been a lot of determination from the girls. Like you said, it was tough to start off with. It was a really tough start to the year. It took a lot to keep battling on. Um, but as well with the coaches, the coaches have uh, helped us out a lot this year. They've carried us a lot through the tough times, supported us and told us where we're going wrong and ultimately got us to where we are now. And you mentioned the coaches there, I know they do put a lot of uh, effort into planning the sessions and from a tactical point and whatnot. Um, how have the coaches helped you personally this season develop as a player? They work really hard behind the scenes and I think um, we never will appreciate how hard they do work. We all uh, turn up every training session and just expect it to be, but they do work really hard and they put on good sessions week in, week out. We train really hard to be where we are. They've helped us all. They watch our match footage. They get back to us, tell us what we need to work on. And like I said, we wouldn't be where we are without them. Yeah, they've all helped massively, you know, each and every one of them, Greg, Sarah and Andy, um, all the work that they put in, you know, obviously it's coming to play in the season and we just couldn't thank them enough for what they've done for us. Uh, coaches have been amazing. Um, I can honestly say that I wouldn't be where I am as a player right now and I can say that you know we wouldn't be where we are now as a team either. They have been absolutely incredible uh, with both uh, you know physical and mental uh, coaching for us as a team so yeah it's been great. And if anyone watching this is wondering where we are, this isn't Park Hall, we're at a bar in Oswestry. Street. We've had yes. our end of season celebration afternoon yeah. today. Um, how great has it been to come down here this afternoon and it, celebrate those achievements? Yeah, definitely very well deserved. Um, I think, you know, we're all excited for, for this night. Um, and it was great, like I said, looking back and looking on memories throughout the season, you know, and reminiscing with, with the team has been amazing. You know, I say a bit emotional for some people, but yeah, it was great. It's been a great night already, so yeah. I think it's really important to get all the girls together. Obviously, we've had a few weeks off. Uh, TNS are resurfacing this our pitch, ready for a new season. So it's uh, had a few weeks off. It's nice to get back together and celebrate what we've achieved because ultimately it's been an unbelievable year. So it's been good to get us all back in one place. Yeah, I think it's a great thing just to get together away from the pitch and have a bit of time to reflect and enjoy what we actually achieved since we've you know been away from the season all just get together. And it's been a good afternoon for you personally as well because you've won an award, um, Most Improved Player of the Year. Do you want to show us? Yeah, that player. <laughs> Is it something you expected to win? Uh, definitely not, um, but I just think it's, it's pretty cool and I'd like to thank everyone who you know, decided that they'd like to give it to me. And a sixth place finish finally in our first Adrian Premier season. What would you say are the targets both on a personal level and for the squad going into next season? Uh, yeah, it was a 
unexpected sixth place finish. We were aiming for seventh when we were bottom, but sixth place uh, even even better. But next season, ultimately, we don't want to be in the same situation we were in, and we're very confident we're not going to be in the same situation we were in. We're going to push, hopefully, top four, and I'm looking forward to captain another season with a great bunch of girls. Just keep improving, you know, the way that we improved this season, build on that, certainly, keep the momentum going, and hopefully get into the top four. You know, personally, like I said, the coaches have helped us both physically and mentally, and I think everybody has their own strengths and their own weaknesses, and I think we're all very aware of what they are as individual players. Um, I know that I have both physical and mental um, you know, goals to reach um, to improve my game as a player um, so that you know, obviously I'm going to look to improve that but I'm very very excited to see where we go as a team and I think we're just going to see if we can keep that momentum going into this next season um, as what we did at the last four games so yeah.